Hi, so I'm here with Stefano. He's the film director behind um, a poignant short music video, 22nd of March, 2016, 22nd of March. Welcome, congratulations. Thank you very much. Welcome to Brussels. Um, you need to, um, you'd always have to give me a synopsis, but in particular, uh, with you, because of its subject matter, please can you tell me what this film, this short film is about? Sure, sure, Steve. Thank you very much. First of all, it's a pleasure to be here, thank and you. I'm very happy for these three nominations. And I would like to thank you and to thank the organization of this beautiful festival. So, as you know, uh, 22 March 2016, uh, this date, I mean, it marked really a, a, a very, a very, uh, a very dramatic day for, for, for Belgium. I mean, uh, three uh, suicide bombings, coordinated suicide bombings, occurred in Brussels two at uh, the Zamenten airport and one at the uh, Malbec metro station. 32 people died, the three perpetrators were killed, and more than 300 people were injured. So, really, I can say that our lives, I mean, uh, changed dramatically after this event. And the video is an attempt, a respectful attempt, to uh, keep the memory of uh, the event uh, alive uh, and to respect the, and to honor the memory of the victims. At the same time, I wanted also to send a, a message from the human point of view. And I want to, to say something before to, to, to tell you more on that, because uh, I, from the start I was always very concerned of um, approaching to this issue from the human point of view, in order not to, um, not to enter into the political, uh, religious or social debate. This mainly, I mean, uh, in order not to banalize the subject and to uh, also respect the memory of the victims. So you will not find in the video any reference in the images to the event as such. No, I've seen, I, I've seen part of it, and, I, and this is reflected in the uh, in the editorial. It's more about like a stat static images, isn't it? Overlay exactly. with music. Exactly. And uh, and even the words in the words I have never referred to the event as such. Uh, I didn't didn't even use the word death. I tried to find other ways in order really not to banalize the. And when you were in Brussels when this happened? Indeed, I, I will tell you a story now because I mean uh, usually every day. When I go to work, I take the metro and I uh, arrive at Malbec station and I get off to go to work. Uh, so usually I arrive at Malbec at the time of the explosion, more or less, every day. Uh, on that day in particular, my mother was with us uh, uh, at home and she was uh, watching TV. So she alerted me that something was happening in Zaman, at Zamantem airport where the first uh, uh, attack uh, happened. And so I stayed at home uh, longer than usual, and I left, uh, you know, to go to the to the office. Uh, a bit later. Later, when I arrived at my metro at the metro station from where I depart uh, to arrive to Malbec, uh, I just sat uh, on a, on a carriage, and immediately somebody, the personnel from the STIB, that is the company that runs the, the the metro, told us to leave and to go home, and uh, the explosion happened. So uh, I could have been there at Malbec at that time. Exactly. Likely, it was not the case. But you see, after this event, the magnitude of, of the event was such that, um, I mean, I, I have to say, tell you, I uh, like to express myself writing songs. Yeah. But after this event, the magnitude, the, 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 there was really a feeling of generalized depression. I mean, uh, at least I noticed that um, around, I mean, with knowing with, with the people I know. And also I felt there was no words, words, words to be said, no music, no sound, no, no, nothing, no, no hope, let, let's put it like well, that. Just, just, just emptiness. Exactly, emptiness. But because every day I take the metro, I, I arrive at Malbec, and I cannot uh, help thinking, uh, even for a few seconds, to what happened. Slowly, in the months that followed, I started to feel the need, the sort of urgency to say something, to do something, to give a meaning and to honor also respect and honor the memory of the victim. So uh, I wrote the song. And if you like, I can tell you something about that. Because yeah. it's, it's a, you know, when I write song, in general, this process is a mysterious one. Because sometimes you have the words, and you keep the words into the freezer for, for years. In the freezer, in I the like freezer, that. yeah, for years. Under lock and key. Under lock and and uh, sometimes it comes first the music, and you don't have the words, and one day, you find the words. In this case, music and words came together, and from the start I had a clear flow of images in my mind. So I wrote the, the songs, uh, the words, the lyrics, 
uh, really having these images in my mind. So I can say that the song from the start uh, had a strong identity, a visual identity. In the song, uh, I mean, as you know, in the song there, are, uh, there is the music, the words, and the rhythmic part that is also very important. I have tried to combine the, the three components uh, in order to enhance one each other. And uh, so the result is what I think an evocative uh, uh, song. After that, I published the song in my first CD, that is uh, Racconti Musicali Uno, in 2017, but I felt that the work was incomplete because I, I wanted to visualize more, uh, to, have, uh, uh, to merge the song with some images, with the, with the, with the video, with the film. Uh, before to do that, I, I want to tell you, I have also um, recorded the song with a, um, a direct um, producer, a Belgian producer that uh, does, uh, that makes uh, uh, soundtracks. And this has enhanced, uh, further enhanced the visual part of the song because you will hear in the song also the, the sound of the underground that we have yeah, re recorded. Yeah, yeah. So, um, and so uh, I was looking for, at a certain point, I was looking for collaborations to, to have a video, to, 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 to make a video. And, uh, but I have to say, I didn't find, I mean, uh, the right person. I mean, there were too, too many issues. First of all, a lack of budget. There was uh, one of always the main, a problem. Yeah, always, always a problem. problem. Yeah. But also the fear that the subject could have been manipulated. It's very easily that this subject is not treated from a human point of view. So I wanted to keep this, uh, this as, a, as a firm point. So I couldn't find any collaboration. So I put uh, the project uh, on hold for a while. One day, I was uh, looking on Facebook to some, you know, I was looking something on Facebook and I found some pictures, some photos of a, a musician and a guitarist that is also a photographer, Stefan Wears, he's a Belgian musician with who I have collaborated in the past. And immediately I, I was sure that these images were, I sensed and felt that these images would have perfectly merged with the song, with the words. Stefan sent me more, um, more pictures, I selected them, still find that still found that there was a need for extra pictures, so we went on the spot with two other photos. And, at, and after that there was the work of synchronization of the of the music and of the music and, uh, and, and, and the images. And this there the challenge was to ensure a balance between the two parts and to ensure that one complement each other. Now, the, the, the idea, as you said, is, uh, is this. It's a simple uh, video, which is made of uh, 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 static images. Uh, but I would say that there is one characteristic, the, is, is the pace, the rhythm, the sequence of uh, the images uh, that are shown one after another, uh, according to the, I would say, to the uh, plot that is given by the words of the song. And there is time. There is time to. Uh, reflect, uh, there is time between uh, one image and another to um, discover the beauty of the images. I mean, this is, I think, the strong uh, element of the video in the, in the times we are living where time is becoming a, scare, a, a scarce commodity. You know, Stefano, this is a disturb, what I'm about to say is a disturbing reflection of the times we live in. When I, when you first presented your film or when I came across your film, in the last 10 years, there's been so many terrorist attacks and so many shootings in America, in particular US, bombings in Syria, Afghanistan and so on. It's hard to remember a particular event because there's so many of them now, which is awful. So for instance, with your one, of course I remembered it. But it was almost a reminder of something I'd forgotten because there are so many terrible incidents in the world. You know, you pick up, turn on the news, and there's been a shooting, mass shooting in America, and the next day a mass shooting in America, the next day a car bomb's gone off in Kabul, or, and it's, I mean, or this one the other day, there was, a, a, I think, 63 people yeah. killed at a yeah. wedding, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And it's becoming, we're becoming almost desensitised yeah, because yeah. it happens so that, often. That's, that's exactly what, uh, what I fear. And that's so well. tragic. Terrible. Terrible. It shouldn't be like that. So your one, of course I remembered it, but I had to go through my memory bank to be reminded of it. And the way that I had to be reminded of it was your film in terms of it made me remember it. But it was so easy to mould them or push them all together. Because there's so many of them. 
but you see still in a way it's uh, i mean life goes on and it's important yes yes of course. the other way i feel important also uh, to keep the memory to um, document the reality in order not to be forgotten in order to avoid it uh, repeated as much as possible i mean we, sh we should avoid that at the same time also to honor the memory of the victims because uh, everybody could be could have been there well it could have been me could have been definitely, you definitely. i mean london in the bombings and you know it could have been anybody it just just terrible goes on and on definitely uh, uh, and what does it achieve for the perpetrators it doesn't achieve anything 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 no of course the, i'll tell you what it does it makes people stronger it makes people stronger in a way in a way that's uh, yeah i hope that this is uh, also because, because people are more likely to say no no i'm not giving in to this you know yeah, yeah, indeed. I mean, uh, you are right. On, on the other hand, I mean, there is a feeling of uh, a melancholic feeling, uh, thinking to that and uh, taking the metro sometime. I mean, uh, this is a recurrent thought, uh, you know what I mean, especially because uh, the plays were the theater of this tragic event. And uh, every day, like me, many people repeat the same path that uh, other people before us uh, yeah. did it, the victims. But the story, at the end, as I told you, the story I wanted to approach um, from the human point of view, so the story is the story of, of, uh, of uh, a commuter, a commuter that uh, take the metro, takes the metro on that day, and through, through his thoughts, his feelings, because indeed the words of the song, which is the plot, are about thoughts and feelings yeah, of this yeah, person. Yeah. Th this journey becomes the journey of his life, and uh, the transition from life to death, that is depicted by symbolism. I use the iconography symbol. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. And um, and becomes also an hymn to the beautiful life because at the end of the day, I mean, uh, I have tried to enhance uh, his, his thoughts that uh, are uh, you know simple things that we take for granted, like hugging a beloved one or feeling the warmth of the sun. But these are the, the things that at the end, uh, uh, you know. Uh, are the things for which we we'll, we live uh, that uh, makes our life uh, unique and, uh, and so this is I mean uh, the important part the human message I wanted to send and at the end of the film there is this image of the heart surrounded by a statement of grief that has been uh, made by the people spontaneously you, yeah, will, yeah, you yeah. will find it at the exit of uh, the metro I don't know if you have been there is that the picture you've got the picture there yeah yeah, yeah yeah we got the picture there and uh, the statements are um, and so this is a really a wonderful uh, spontaneous uh, memorial and uh, it reminds a bit the intricate web of the um, of the metro and this is an idea also that you will find in the in the in the video as well as you will find these uh, portraits of the artist uh, uh, Benoit Vaninis. He made uh, eight paintings uh, already before the, the event. And I have always thought that these faces on the wall, they have seen what happened. They are the silent witnesses of uh, the event. So I have tried to uh, represent that by putting a, a black stripe on the, on the, on the mouth of these uh, images. And, and this is it. This is a bit uh, the description of, uh, of the work. And I would like to thank you very much for this opportunity. Thank you. And I really hope uh, to have contributed uh, to, to keep the memories of the victims of course alive and to honor the memories of the victims. Of course you have. And let's leave this on a positive thought. This is my belief, that I believe that humans in general are intrinsically good. Yeah, I fully agree with you. In I, general, not yes, all, no, no, no. but the, the vast majority of humans know the difference between right and wrong. And I think that's a good thing. And that's a thing that I think we should believe in. Yeah, I would like uh, to, I, I mean, I would like to, 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 to conclude with agreeing with you and adding, if you allow me, uh, that uh, indeed uh, it's uh, embedded. I mean, um, the fact that we feel the emotion of the other, of the others, is embedded indeed in our evolution. I mean, if you think to the mirror uh, neurons, neurons. I mean, this is really a scientific proof that uh, empathy exists, and we have to uh, to fulfill and to go on in this direction. Empathy will save us. That's, I think that's so. one of the most important things. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Thank you very much. Lovely to Thank talk you. to you. Thank you.